What's up? Welcome to another Wizard Foo live stream. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the box art image. Let's make sure this is all good here with the stream quality. Dropped a few frames so far, but... Is that all we're uploading? 140k a second? Oh wait. Okay, I think we're doing alright. Um, Alright, so let's get to making this art. So here is the box art uh, slash poster image from Songbringer. Um, and I made it with tons of layers and each one of these different frames down here I can, you know, select a different one of them to show like maybe this one's the poster image, here's like the icon, here's like a steam capsule image or whatever. You know, all these have their own little purpose. Um, so I'm going to make something similar for Low Dragger. I'm going to start it off, just kick it off. This is like, uh, this is pretty early on in the game's project to do something like this, but I noticed with Songbringer that um, when I, as soon as I started releasing images and GIFs on the internet, they all, um, they all just became what Songbringer was. And years later, after I got to finish the game, um, but the, my art skills had improved so much that it made these old images look really, really bad, at least in my opinion. So even when the game got released, like, you know, three years after it was started, um, there were images, you would search for Songbringer, and you would find these images from the from the very beginning, which were just really horrible as far as their logo went and stuff. So what I want to do is create a really high-quality image for Low Dragger from the beginning, and uh, only use that if possible. So that's the goal. We'll see if it actually happens. It's also very important to have a good piece of key art or box art for your image uh, because that is just it's very important for a game to have. So let's um, let's go ahead and start off the image for for Low Dragger. What did I just press there? Okay. Um, so I got this one from Songbringer open so I could kind of pay attention. This one's six fifteen by three oh eight. Let's go ahead and do something similar for Low Dragger. Oh, we do want to go uh, 16 bits a channel. That really helps to make really nice smooth gradients. 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 <laughs> Man, I forget how to pronounce that word. Okay, here we go. Low dragger key art. So this is gonna be a sketch. I mean, in this live stream for maybe an hour and a half, two hours, I'll probably barely be able to even scratch the surface of what I have in mind here, but I'm just going to start sketching this out anyways to see how far we can get in an hour and a half. I imagine I spent for the for this Songbringer logo or key art, I probably spent, gosh, at least three or four full days worth of time on this image. Um, so I imagine that low draggers could take that long too, but let's see how far we can get in this amount of time. Um, Let's start with the background sort of color scheme and also let's grab open the uh, this episode image here which gives me some sort of logo to work with for now. I'm not sure how happy I am with this logo yet, but um, down the road I'll settle on something that, I, that is just, you know, the one. I'm going to turn off these shadows. Oh, there it is. Okay. Actually, that logo is about the right size. Let's call that layer logo. Okay, let's do a background gradient. Oh, where should we put this? This belongs in low dragger art. Um, let's 
sprites. Wallpapers, maybe? Maybe wallpapers. Okay, let's call this low drag or key art. Okay. Um, the episode image have these. Um, episodes and compose. These are what I use. These are the images I use to compose my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. And he uses these gradients. There's one. Ah, I think that's the gradient that he uses mainly. Oh, that one's nice too. Let's open up that. Okay, so we'll go from about that color to this color. We'll create a gradient layer. Make this from the foreground to the background color. Looks good. Put it below. Okay, we got a start to this. Probably this low dragger logo does need to drop shadow, but uh, let's avoid doing that for now. I kind of hate drop shadows. All right. So without the logo, well, with the logo, shoot. Let's zoom into about there. And we'll work with this main space here in the middle. Okay, so now things are going to get sketchy because I'm just going to sketch out with a, a black pencil, black pixel pencil, um, what I had in mind for characters and what this would look like. In fact, I think I wanted the low dragger logo. Well, let's turn it off for a second. Okay, so I imagine a really big lodestone at this sort of huge angle I'm drawing with my finger I usually use a, um, a graphics tablet but today I'm just gonna use my finger that's a bit big so I want some care what I want is um, some characters in the bottom of the screen facing away from the camera and some characters on the top of the screen facing towards the camera so you get this two opposing teams feeling and then a lodestone behind the, this team up here and then the low dragger logo somewhere so that's even still a bit big And the reason I'm making the bottom of it a little bit bigger is that I want it to look as if you're sort of looking up at this. Okay, so we're going to have... Character here. Let's just go ahead and mock in all these shapes here by copy them by copying them around.
Okay. Um, and now, these guys at the bottom are going to be a lot bigger. Do I want to see all of them? Maybe just their shoulders up, the characters on the bottom of the screen? Not quite sure here. Let's go ahead and sketch it out, see what it feels like. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's supposed to be a human head right there. All these characters are going to have like unique pieces of armor too, so they'll all eventually look pretty cool. But uh, this is, once again, just the whole sort of mock-up, arrangement type. Cloaks would be neat, too. Let's do some cloaks. We can add cloaks to the characters up there later. So, and then, like, one character might have, like, an axe. Looks like a trowel. One character might have a bow. You know, the sword. Um, what's a good one to show off here? Like, maybe this is a Grand Ragger or an Arch Ragger with the cape and a staff. And this is uh, the Builder with the hammer, maybe? No. Um, maybe this guy's got his arm up in the air. I don't know, whatever. Okay, let's get put a number, couple more characters down here at the bottom. We'll erase some of these lines, make it look a little more 3D. Okay, so this guy will have a sword. This guy has a bow. Say this person has a hammer. Um, this person has a boomerang. Thanks for the follow, somebody. Have we got good stream health here? How's this going? 
Whoa, we're dropping a lot of frames, but it does look like we're still green. Okay, just checking. Okay, what would this other person have? We got a... Oh, the, the bomber is pretty neat, but that's kind of like a weapon that you're not really going to see too much. Um, the lightning rod is also a smaller weapon. Um, there's the pyro's fire. Oh, yeah, how about this person has flames in their hand? That'd be cool. That'll add some, some neat light to this scene. So this is supposed to be their hand right here, holding a flame. And maybe this person's like holding up a sword too. Hopefully this looks epic. They got nano swords because it's the future. Okay, so this is kind of what I was thinking for the this the sketching part of it I was imagining this these guys were on a cliff and there was a bridge between them as well let's try that And then these guys have a cliff edge. All just kind of quick and sketchy at first. Just trying to get the, the general impression <clears throat> impression rather than making the pixels really awesome and pretty. Just kind of looking at the scene overall at first. Once again, this is going to be like a three to four day project just making this image here. I just want to get it started. Oh, wait, the bridge. Whoops.
All right, let's find out where the center line is. So let's turn on root. Oh, whoops. What did I do? Oh, command R is to run the game. No matter which app I'm in. Let's close this. Uh, view rulers, maybe? Yeah, there it is. And we'll drag a ruler out to half of its width. It was 615, so that's 307. There you go, that's the middle. Alright, so, oh, I did this pretty close. I'm guessing these guys on top... Let's make them move over slightly so that the lodestone is sort of in the middle there. And we'll move the bridge back over as well. Put that at about the center. A little offset's okay. All right. Okay, now I want these characters shifted a tiny bit to the right, but not the lodestone. That's better. Okay, let's get this. Uh, we don't need the ruler anymore, really. Well, I think we have to drag this ruler out of here before. Oh, there, that's, I said the wrong tool. Okay, like that, and then turn off rulers. Okay, looking at this from a distance, I do wanna see, I think the whole image needs to move upward a little bit. Like maybe, you know what? I kinda wanna keep the guys on the bottom where they are and just move the guys on top
Okay. That's kind of what I'm imagining for this scene. And if we were to throw the logo in, and we're like on top of the screen there, what goes in the middle? No. Yeah, but definitely want it on the top of the screen. That's kind of what I was imagining. One more thing with this sketch. In the background, we need to have something At least the horizon line. Hmm. It doesn't quite look right. Let's maybe do some mountains instead. Okay, something like that. And now let's separate um, this background, all the background stuff from the characters. I should have just drawn these on one layer. Or I mean, the characters on one layer and the background on another.
All right. Let's cut that to a new layer. Call this one sketch characters and that one sketch background. Okay, so I did that so that I could basically turn the background down a little bit. In fact, I'll turn this way down and then the characters down to about 50 or there. So it just looks a little more sketchy. <laughs> okay, that I'm gonna call version one version 0 0.1, let's call that zero, whatever, and we'll check it in. Okay, step two. Kind of happy with the scene. Let's check that logo one more time. Oh, let's get the logo in the proper proportion. Hey, what's up, Kavarni? How's it going? looking a little better. With this logo here, now I almost want these characters to be lower. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. That's probably about how big a logo should be. It's going great, man. I've got it so you can, uh, I've got a lot of the gameplay mocked up with 2D sprites. Um, so you can actually play an entire match. You can change roles. You can build buildings and yeah, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you what it looks like so far. So here we are. We start off as rolless. There's many types of different roles you can obtain. Um, this is, now I've switched to the lumberjack roll, and I can chop down trees, or fight creeps. You gain experience in each roll, and they level up, and you get different abilities and stuff. But yeah, the lumberjack's main ability is to chop down the trees. And then you can also become the builder. So let's become the builder really quick. And let's build the, oh, that's the archer's lair or whatever. So, oops. There we go. I built that. And now uh, stepping on, I become the archer. Archer can shoot arrows. It's running at a really poor frame rate um, because I haven't optimized anything yet. And there's like 40,000 entities on currently being processed and I'm streaming so uh, there's many other kinds of types of buildings you can build um, you can build the knight slayer so you can become a knight with the sword um, there's the builder again oh, that's the become roll list that's the bridge to cross the water there's other things too like building it that's a tower that would fire fire stuff and enemies doesn't work yet though but anyways, your whole goal is to um, basically, you know, you carve your own lanes for the match. So you carve out your lanes through these trees. 
And then all the way on the top right here, this is the enemy's base. I haven't got any AI implemented yet for the enemy bots. But this is where the enemy team will be creating their base and carving out their lanes. And your goal is to um, steal their lodestone right here and drag it back to your base. So I can actually do that if I switch back to roll this. Block a few attacks. You get experience points for blocking so that you can level up the, the roll list. There we go. Now I'm an Archragger, and Archragger can steal the lodestone. So imagine this is a five on five game. There'll be a lot of, like, one person could be going and carving out lanes, one person could be building buildings, one person's maybe like a warrior. Where did I go? What the heck happened? Uh, whoa, I've never seen with this. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I'm invisible now. Oh well. The point is that you can steal the lodestone, take it back to your base, and win. Um, yeah, it's voxel. It's voxel. It's totally a voxel game. This is a completely two-dimensional mock-up. So the characters. Um, I've drawn in Magic of Voxel. Like, for example, that's what Rock would look like if he were a character. You know? So, yeah, it's going to be Voxel, but uh, I basically had, I had worked myself into a corner with the Voxel engine. I worked on it for a few months, and um, basically it was, I had run into a roadblock. Like, I, was, I had to choose either to go this way or that way with the Voxel engine. I was just... I was just like, okay, I need to take a break from this. So I decided to focus entirely on two-dimensional gameplay. And actually, it's been really, really awesome to do that because um, I can not get distracted by making art. Like quite often when you're making a game and you're making the art as well at the same time, you easily get tempted to go and spend time perfecting the art when none of the gameplay is finished. So um, it's really nice to get all the gameplay in place and then go back and add in all the great art and make everything look really cool and feel awesome. So yeah. So back to this sketch. That's approximately how big the Low Dragger logo should be. But let's go ahead and move the characters down and and the background. It kind of makes more room, more space for the load Ragger logo. But I want to use the rule of thirds here. So it would be nice to have the characters here at about... Uh, wait, no, these characters at the bottom at one third, these at two thirds, and these at... Let's put a line in the middle of all these. I'll go ahead and draw it. Yeah, kind of like a, it's it's a blend of an RTS with a MOBA in a, in a sense. So you control only one hero character and you can change your role at any time. So you, it's not like you're it's not like you're a hero like in most MOBA games. You're just a person that can change roles. So you might be a lumberjack for a minute and then you change to a builder, and you can change to a knight, or an archer, or a mage, or a healer. There's all these different roles. There's like about 10 different roles, and you can switch to them at any time during the match. Um, but it's also kind of like an RTS because there's the builder role, which can build buildings. 
and the buildings are, are what enable the different roles and they also can you can build like towers and bridges and fake trees fake rocks all these kinds of things you can build so if I divide this into quarters actually so I have three lines through the middle draw some guidelines. This is 215, nope, it's 308 tall. So what's 308 over 4? Seventy-seven. And let's put one more to divide the middle. It was 615, which is 307 or 8 ish. Great, there we got some guidelines. If I need to see those, I can just turn this layer on. Okay, so with this layer on, let's go ahead and make this scene work. Okay, so I'm, I'm debating on whether the top character should be in the middle or the middle of the vertical, or they should be at the top vertical. Let's try them in the middle first. Maybe about there. Actually, right there, it's going to have to be. Okay, let's move the background down a bit. And then move the logo to this vertical. Okay, and the, the load zone would need to be a lot bigger. That's a lot better. Now we're using the rule of thirds. Makes this whole image look a bit just more. Um, it's like the feng shui of the image. This feel it feels better, like that. Overall. Okay, but I do want to try one more where the low dragger logo is in the middle of the screen. So let's go ahead and check this in. Well, this is like version 0 0.2. And 
friends, go ahead and try this wild idea. Put the logo in the middle. Well, turn off the logo first. Move the characters upward, about there. We have to move the lodestone, but just the lodestone, I think. And we go ahead and move these, this bridge image, or the bridge itself, up a bit. Probably to about there. And we would have the logo on the middle vertical. Huh, which one? Gosh, I might have to debate on this before I proceed further. I kind of like both of them. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Wrong layer. Okay, there's that mock-up. Oh, I like
like this one. Let's see those guides again. Yeah, those characters line pretty well. The logo could maybe go a little bit lower. About like there. Or there. Feeling matters more than numbers. Okay. I like that. It's a good start. All right, and um, this I'm going to check in again. And then I'm going to copy this to my desktop. And this one is going to be Call this one load ragger key art centered. Okay, we've got, well, let's, let's close this. I've already checked in both versions. Let's keep that image open actually. Both these open, all right. And now let's, uh, let's check out my git log. And check out the version right before this. And then copy that to the desktop as well. And this one is the load dragger key art with um, not centered, but with the logo on top. Okay, and then we'll get we'll check this out again. So we're back to our hmm. I might have messed that up a bit. Okay, so we let's see what this is like when I open it. Okay, that's with the logo on top. That's good. And then let's go. Well, now let's compare them sort of side by side. We got them both here to look at. All right, so that's what it would look like with the logo on top. I like the guidelines the way they are. I could play around with that and make it a little bit more better, but. Hey, what's up, Alessandro? Howdy. And that's with the logo on the bottom or in the middle. Yeah, all's okay here as well. Thanks for dropping by and saying hello. Yeah, always making progress, always making progress. I'm trying to decide which one of these I like here. Today's just been sketching up this um, box art image. Maybe it will look something like this, you know? This is what the sketch might look like for it. In the end, it'll have cool pixel art for all these characters, but this is what it might look like. I'm trying to debate whether I like the logo on top like that, or whether I like the logo in the middle like that. So, any thoughts you have, I'm definitely interested in hearing them. You like it better in the middle? Okay, good to know. Yeah, this middle one, it definitely has a good feng shui to it, you know, the good feeling.
Oh, I could even move the... I can move things around and make it feel... Let's, let's do that. I'll work on this one just a little bit more before I can... Before I wrap this stream up. I do gotta get going soon. Okay, let's move up the background... Mountain horizon. Something like that. And we'll move up this part too. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, cool. I'm glad I'm glad to have your input. This is one of my favorite parts about live streaming. It's getting your feedback. Direct immediate feedback what the, what an awesome thing this is as a game developer when I first started making games 24 years ago um, this sort of thing was only possible if I had a friend that was in the room and I said hello friend what do you think of this oh it gives the impression of being deeper cool and quite often back in those days in the 1990s making video games you I didn't have many friends. I had like, you know, four close friends. Okay, I had like one friend. Okay, I had like no friends. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? When you ask a friend for their, their feedback on a piece of art, you really only get one chance at asking them what they think, right? Because once they've already seen it, your freshness of your perspective is kind of gone at that point. So asking the same friend again is not very effective. So it's really neat to have live streams these days. How is the ninja? Which ninja? The ninja pizza pizza person? Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, Rico. <laughs> He's great. He's doing great. I almost got to see him actually. He's, he lives in South America. Um, yeah, I almost got to see him recently. He was in the Bay Area, and I was, I was, I had almost made it to the Bay Area when he was going to be there, but I was like a week out. But he's doing great. He's good. He's got his own business, um, in South America where he's managing some people and developing software for, for, uh, for others. I'm glad. He likes what he does. He's leading a team of people. His people are, you know, he's providing for other people. I'm really proud of him. How about you, man? Is anything new? What's been going on with you? All right, there we go. With the guides in place, you can see we're still on those vertical lines. It's looking good. I like that. I do. I agree with you. I think I like it better in the middle. But this is something that I really want to sleep on. Let's clean this one up a little bit, too. Give them both the benefit of the doubt before I decide... So yeah, I'm basically, I'm going to take this and I'm going to sleep on it tonight, you know, and come back to this again tomorrow. Because this is a, this is a good start. It's nice at this point to kind of take them both uh, with a grain of salt and decide which one I like better. And then, and then go put in the other three and a half days worth of work, you know. I'm imagining this whole, making this whole pixel art image here 
will probably take me three to four days of full-time effort to make it as quality as this image was for Songbringer, Songbringer's key art image. So imagining something of a similar quality level for this low dragger scene here. But it starts with the very humble beginnings. Sketchy pixels. Gotta love it. This is... I'm not going to say this is how all art starts, but it kind of is. You know, a lot of art starts as just blobs and sketchy graphics. All right, that's cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so let's take a last little A, B test. We'll make this do command zero, so these are both the same size. And gosh, yeah, I am. I think I'm leaning towards that middle. This one, I like this one better with the lo logo in the middle. And it also, what's good about this image is that it's great for, um, I think it would work really well for an icon as well as a uh, box art or poster. Because we got a nice square, we got a really nice square right here. You know, this sort of, well, this square image right here, about like that, that would make a nice icon. And then this this image right here of the whole thing would make like a nice poster or box art and then the whole thing can be used for all sorts of things maybe you want like a really really nice wide image or maybe you want just sort of like a wide screen look this can work for in a lot of different ways so I think I am learn leaning towards this one here in the middle Let's save that. Okay. There's that one. And that one. Also, another thing about this one with the logo in the middle is that it sort of gives you that feeling of like red versus blue, team one versus team two, like opposing forces. This one isn't quite doesn't quite do the same thing with the logo above and the two teams closer together. They're, this one has sort of like a bigger expanse between them and that little bridge connecting them. Okay, so I know where I'm leaning, but I still am going to give this um, 24 hours to just settle. And I'll come back to this image with some more thoughts and keep working on it. And um, I'd like to keep live streaming this whole process of uh, making this key art image, but it kind of depends on where I'm at and if I can get good reception <laughs> so I can, I can actually do live streams. So that's going to be it for this live stream. Um, I had a good time making this, kind of finally getting this sketch out. I had this idea in my mind of a sketch somewhat like this for quite some time now. It's nice to have, finally have it down on some pixels and sort of simmering, if you will. So, thanks for watching this live stream. I appreciate all y'all. And um, catch y'all later. Maybe the logo should be a little bigger. Yeah, yeah, I'll play around with that. Good thought. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll catch y'all next time.